Hey, how you guys doing? It's nothing but a servant of the Lord here today on this beautiful day that the Lord has given us. So let's thank him and glorify his name a little bit. Sorry if you guys hear the dogs in the back. It's a little whiny dog. But um, let's pray before you guys hear this message. Pause the video because this is a very important message, a very important message. So make sure you're taking it up with the Lord because it's so important that you guys understand where this dream is coming from as far as how soon it is and as far as what it truly means, okay? Now, This was the dream, and I titled it, The Dream of the Demonic Chinese Man. We were in this schoolhouse, me and my guardian. There was somebody who was supposed to be protecting me this whole time I was in this place. Uh, running from this Chinese teacher. We were running from him because my guardian told me who he really was, and he was full of demonic spirits. So, this, he was trying everything to get to me, I mean, everything in his power. And I could feel him for some reason in that school. I could feel his presence. And it was an evil, a real evil presence. And um, so I'm hiding around in the school. I, me and my guardian, we hide in the bathroom. My guardian hides me in the bathroom. And while I'm hiding in the bathroom, he goes out in the hallway to check and make sure everything is okay. But in the midst of doing that, we run into this character that we don't, we don't seem to trust very much so we leave from that place and um from there we go to this building that was in the back of the bus meant to the, in the back of the school a building where you have to go through a door and it'll be sitting right there but it was all the way in the back uh detached from the school and um we went into this place and the teachers they were like man this man is trying to you know put lies and say all these things against you just to get people to tell you where he is he was saying how I was uh I had tickets I was just just saying things to accuse me you know and um during this time um right when they were telling me this the alarm rang in the school now listen to me the alarm rang right when they told me he was all the lies that he was saying and I think that alarm means something more significant than what, than more than just a school bell. So I need you guys to pray to the Lord for me for that. And uh, so as the, the alarm rang in the school, this Chinese man came. And I mean, you can feel his presence, man. So me and my guardian, we ran to the top of the ceiling. Um, we kind of like teleport there somehow. You know how God uses Jesus to switch you real quick. No. So we're running around and running around and I tried to hide in this little cut and I'm trying to escape but the, the you know the way is too narrow for my big head and my body, you know. Nobody could escape through the little hole that I was trying to get through. So as he was coming around, he would have saw me if I would have stayed this side. So I ran and um as I was running my guardian angel was like, Okay, you're getting too close, he's about to get you. So he, he went to protect me but my guardian angel didn't prevail. And um, I was calling on God, and I was calling on angels. And the Chinese man, the demonic man, was like, I have to fight all these angels. i got to fight off God just to kill you. And it was crazy because what he said, and what's more crazy that he cursed me in his father's name. He said, I curse you in my father's name. That's exactly what he said. I curse you in my father's name. And then, so after you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys get who it is now, but hold on. And But it had no effect on me because I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, don't let this evil man curse me, God. I thought he was talking about Jesus for a minute, but he said, my father. So, and, and the way he said it, I was like, your father can't be God because you're full of demonic spirits. So, but God told me in the end what it meant. So, he, he had this rifle in his hand. And... 
the rifle I was thinking in, in my dream of all the guns that they are confiscating so I'm, I guess that's interpretation that the guns that they are confiscating will again be used against us so um, eventually this window opened and I was praying to God and uh, um, this, window, this little window opened so he made a way for me but I wasn't able to leave because the dream was finished that the, uh, the man was still mumbling he was still cursing me but again it had no effect and the Lord made a way for me amen and um, at the end of the dream he said I represent the bride and the Chinese man represents Obama and his father now that's powerful. That's powerful. So I need you guys to take it up with the Lord. If we're really that close to, you know, to what the Lord is saying, as far as in days and in months, um, it, it, it's very amazing. The dream I had it was not amazing as far as you know the experience, but again, the experience is amazing because it's a vision from the Lord, a dream from the Lord. So. And you know how the Lord speaks to you in parables, and you know, it's, a, it's awesome, and it's amazing. And I, I just love the Lord for what He does. And um, let's just glorify His name today. Let's not worry about our struggles and our past. Let's just thank Him for waking us up again. Amen. But um, that was a dream. But even while this man was cursing me, we were still protected. So make sure you guys are repentant and living daily. Tended your minds to live a repentant life and bringing people out of the dark. It seems like nowadays the Lord just wants us to focus on Himself because I can't even go on Facebook anymore. So, you know, it's okay. But, you know, let's keep going. Let's keep striving for the Lord because we are far from done, guys. We are far from done. Alright, guys. See you guys next time.